This is the Xiaomi F30, and I love this phone. I've been using it for about five months now, and it looks like an old dumb phone, right? Uh, it's not, though. It's only been out less than a year or so. And to give you guys a little context, maybe, maybe you're here for the same reason I'm here, which is you have seen the value of a technologically simpler life. Maybe you wish that you, or maybe you rather you miss the life you had, which was, hey, I remember when, you know, I had a simple, very simple relationship with my devices. It wasn't this constant companion with me all the time. And, I, and so you've probably seen devices like this before. Maybe you remember them. This is actually a newer remake of that old Nokia brick phone with a snake on it. That was pretty good. This is Straight Talks, uh, just standard candy bar, uh, brick phone, uh, which I used for a whole year, by the way, uh, and that was during what I called the year of experimental living. Um, that's another video or discussion in and of itself, but each month had a different challenge to it, and the whole year I was using this device. I wasn't working that year, or at least rather I should say money, I wasn't actively working a professional job where money was coming in. The only revenue I had was really from any sort of musical endeavors. And uh, so that worked for that period, but it would not sustain in the long term, not at all. Uh, and so afterward, I, I went back to my iPhone. I used the iPhone mini for a while. That's fantastic phone, really like that. Uh, but I still was like, ah, I, I would really like to get away from having, um, like I don't like having social media on a phone. I don't like having a whole bunch of notifications. I like the simplicity and the elegance of one of these devices, but it needs to be able to work for the lifestyle that I have, where um, you know we have a business that we run, where I'm working, where you're maintaining relationships, where you need to like know where you're going, directions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's where this phone came in, and I love it, and I don't think I'll go back for to anything really. I think this is the phone to have for the foreseeable future. So why? What's special about this phone? Um, this is what you call a kosher device. Uh, they have a lot of these type of phones in China where they have extremely limited uh, capability, but they're still coming out as new phones. And they're kosher devices. So it is an internet capable device. However, it, it doesn't have apps like Facebook. It doesn't even have a, a search engine. Uh, it doesn't have any sort of social media apps. It doesn't have any games or anything like that. You can't download them either. But it does run a basic smartphone-esque operating system. And here's the cool part, it has a touch screen, which is fantastic. So you can actually swipe between the pages over here. And it keeps up. That's probably the most important thing. That, and honestly, the most important thing that separates this from phones like these, these old dumb phones and other phones that kind of have a similar uh, pursuit in mind, like the light phone, there's another company that produces a stripped down, you know, minimalistic phone. Those phones, their goal is to slow you down, but I think they slow you down in the wrong ways. They're, if I want to send a text to my wife on this phone, it's going to take me like a solid like five minutes to like, you know, use this T9 keyboard to send it out. And then, you know, hopefully the message goes through. So sometimes the service is spotting all these. And I find that the case with a lot of the minimalistic kind of phones that you see come out that, you know, there's not many of them. I don't know why I'm saying like they're coming out for everybody, but they're not. Um, I'm trailing. Get focused. Bring it back. A lot of those phones slow you down in the wrong ways. This phone slows you down in the right way, but doesn't slow you down in the wrong way. Got that? Case in point. I can send a text, if you have a T9 keyboard here, yes, but I can send a text with a touchscreen keyboard. Check that out, boom. Now, I actually have a touchscreen keyboard, so I can actually have a, a normal text conversation. I'm still gonna be pretty streamlined with it, and that's kind of the point, you know? It's not something that you're stuck on. And what really sets this phone apart, and what helps it be an actual tool, not just sort of a, uh, a I don't know, kind of a fun little experiment is the applications that it selects to 
the applications that are actually um, on the phone itself. You have three things. You have an email platform. You have a navigation, Waze in this case, and you have Uber. Uber. I liked that addition. I think that was the thing that changed the game for me. When I saw that all those three applications would be on here, I immediately realized, okay, I can, I can leave the house with just this and be fine. I have access to my email if I really need it. I can, like, if I run out of gas on the side of the highway, which happens more often than not with me, with the car that I drive, with the broken gas gauge in the car that I drive, uh, it happened less than a week ago. Uber is very, very handy. And of course, navigation, that's, that's kind of a given. Um, so, all those things together, and the speed of this phone, and how simple it was to convert with my uh, carrier, uh, leads me to love it. All right, that's it, we're done. Seen one other person on all of YouTube. Hi, Dinah. Uh, really, it's 30 minutes till dinner. So, can I finish this? Thank you. As I was saying,